Hello everybody, I hope you guys are having a great time in your quarantine, trying to stay creative. Uh, today I figured I would do you guys uh, a little bit of a video where I teach you guys how to use a film camera. Now I've been shooting on film for a couple years now. Uh, this is my personal film camera that I use. It's a Minolta X700, which is a pretty good film camera. Um, and I have this 50 millimeter Rollcore uh, Minolta lens on it. And yeah, so I figured I'll show you guys how to shoot, how to essentially load your film, the different things on the camera so you guys can kind of know the anatomy of your camera. And uh, yeah, just show you guys um, how to do that and then maybe take you guys out to shoot on film. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everybody, so here is the Minolta X700 um, with the lens off. Here's the lens, it's a 50 millimeter uh, Rokor lens. And here's a roll of film, and here's a quarter. Now, I'm essentially going to show you how this camera works, what the different parts of it are, things you should know when shooting film, and I will show you how to essentially uh, put your first roll of film in there and how to make sure that everything is exposed correctly. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is the Minolta. This is the Minolta camera strap, obviously, to put it around you. Now if you notice this thing about the Minolta, inside, let me see if I can get a close-up of this. Inside the Minolta, you're not looking at a sensor when you're looking at it. What you are looking at right now is a mirror and that mirror is inside of the camera that allows you to see what's on the other side through this viewfinder because this is an SLR camera single lens reflex camera so that mirror is what allows you to see through your viewfinder so you're actually seeing through the lens where it's not like those disposable cameras that you would get at like a store that essentially you would um, not be looking through the lens you would be looking through just a viewfinder that was glass to the other side. So that is that. Now if we turn on the camera, and I advance once, what happens essentially when you take a picture is that the mirror flips up and exposes the sensor. So you saw that very quick flash. So the sensor was exposed, if I look at my thing, was exposed for an 80th of a second, right? So for that 80th of a second, the sensor was exposed to film, and then that in turn would essentially expose the film on the other side. And that is essentially how you would get images out of this camera, and how much light is it exposed to. It's the same thing for digital SLRs. The thing with a digital SLR is it just records the cards, not film, and it allows you to have an electronic viewfinder. Obviously, you can't just shoot open sensor like that, and that is where you're camera lens comes in place. Now, how to put on the camera lens. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to line up these two red dots. So there's a red dot here, there's a red dot here on the lens. We're going to put that on like that and you're going to turn it to the right so you hear it click into place. And it's snug right in there and now you have a lens on your camera. So you have your focus, you have your aperture, Right? All of that on this fully manual lens. So, you have your camera. Here are some of the things you need to make sure you know about your camera. We'll start with the lens because that has to do with film and exposure and all of that stuff, which is what you want to know the most about. As you can see, here's everything, and I will go over what all this is. So, let's start over here. This is, ex this is your ISO. You want to make sure that this number matches the type of film that you are shooting. So I have this 400 Kodak TX black and white film. That 400, you want to make sure that this number is also a 400. So it can make sure it's exposing properly. All right, and then this is, and essentially change that, you would lift this up, you would spin this around, and that is how you would get to your different exposures, different ISOs of film. On your lens, this is your focus ring, obviously. 
that allows you to focus on your subject. And this is essentially your aperture ring. Now the thing with aperture ring, we have one point, so obviously you can see this lens is meant for low light, you have a 1.7 all the way to a 22, right? These are your f-stops. And the important thing about the f-stops is this, depending on how much light and how shallow a depth of field you want, that is what's going to determine your f-stop. So f1.7, that is the aperture wide open that is going to let in the most light and have the shallowest field of view, or uh, depth of field f22 is going to let the least light in and is going to have the most depth of field it means more things will be in focus than just your subject all right so this is more of a like say i don't know street photography and f1.7 would be more for portraits and then all the f stops in between would be for other things that you're doing and then we come over here to this right here and you see all these numbers from a thousand down to one right Essentially what this is, is how open, how long the shutter is going to be open when you take a picture. So a thousand is one thousandth of a second, and then one is like one full second, right? This is one over a thousand, this is one over one, over one, one over eighty, a thousand over one. Right, and what that is going to, and then there's an auto mode, which I discourage using, because you want, to, in order to get the best pictures, you want to shoot a manual and have full control over your uh, exposure, because maybe you want to make a different decision than the camera. So all of those work in tandem together, in order to ensure that you are getting the correct exposure. Now, when the shutter is only open for a thousandth of a second, you're able to capture more high speed things. But when it's over for one over a second, if something's moving, it'll come blurry in the frame. So a thousand, anywhere from 250 to a thousand is probably good for like handheld shooting. And anything from like 80 down to one would be, you would want a tripod and you would want to be shooting a still subject. So, so inside the viewfinder, you can see there's a bunch of numbers, right? And you can see a red line. What that is, is your light meter. And that tells you what the camera says and recommends should be your shutter, considering what is your ISO and your f-stop. So what you want to do is look at that light meter when you're pointing at a subject, and you want to try and match your shutter to what the light meter says. And the way you read the light meter is you press just a little bit down on your shutter button and it should come up and it'll tell you what it recommends your shutter should be. One thing is where do you put the batteries into this camera? So, as you can see on the bottom of the camera, you have this for an extra mount, mounted accessories that would go on the bottom of this camera. You have your uh, one quarter inch thread for tripods. You have the, a button that I will show you what it does later. And you have this little, uh, essentially, coin-shaped, right, thing. This is where the batteries go into, right? This is where you would put in the battery for the camera. Make sure your camera's off. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to unscrew this with, like, a coin of some sort. And this is where your batteries go. And to put them back in, right? So these are the batteries. To put them back in, put it right back like that. Tighten it up. Now that you know how to expose, this is your lever that you use to advance your film when your film is in there. So once you roll in your film, you would go like this. Press your shutter button, and that is how you would take a picture. Here is your cold shoe mount. You would attach uh, flashes to here, essentially. And then over here, this is where you would be able to read what your, how many exposures you have left inside of the roll of film. So, how do you essentially put film inside of this camera? First, you're going to turn the camera off and 
you're going to lift up this lever right here and this should pop open. Some cameras it's different, this is how it works for the Minolta X700, right? So that is what you do to open up the camera. Then you want to take your roll of film, get it out of the box. Now it comes in a plastic tube. Now you want to keep this for once you're done so you can properly store your film. You want to make sure that you keep this um, plastic little tube that it comes in to put it back in once you're done uh, all your exposures. Pop that out. Now you notice there's this little piece right here. Um, that is what you're going to use in order to attach uh, the film into the camera so that way it takes it. All right, once, once you have everything open, you have your roll of film, what you're going to do is take your roll of film to put it into the camera. So that's in. Make sure this is down all the way, holding that in so it's not moving around in there or anything like that. And then what you want to do is you want to take this and move it forward. And over here, you can see that there are these sprocket holes, right? And inside of essentially this little white part, you want to put that in and get it to take the film. This could be a little tricky sometimes to get in. So you'll hear it click, and that's how you got it to take. Try and pull on it a little bit, it can't come out, all right? Then you're going to essentially put this down, turn your camera on. You're going to take a couple exposures and get that film rolled on. Now, what should happen is as you advance, mine is broken. My exposure sort of uh, counter is broken. But essentially what you would do is you would continue advancing your film until it would say whatever number would come up there. Either one or 25, right? And that'll let you know how many exposures you've taken. So that is essentially how you successfully put a roll of film inside of your film camera. Here is a feature of the X700. Now, a lot of cameras should have this, um, but you may not know exactly where they have this or where it is. For the X700, this is your timer, right? So, you can take timed photographs. Let me get this in focus. So right here is your timer. You can take timed photographs, and basically you lift that up and I believe it's for 10 seconds. And you press your exposure, your shutter button, and then you would, you know, essentially 10 seconds would pass and it would take a picture. So you can see it's beeping. And it's taking a picture. That is just about everything you should need to get ready to Shoot on film.
Excellent. So, once you've basically shot your entire roll of film, you'll notice that you can no longer advance your film forward, right? It's, it's impossible to advance your film forward anymore, right? So what you're going to do is if your camera's on, you're going to turn it off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this little lever. You should have this. You're going to lift that up. And you're going to press this little silver button on the bottom of the what, right side of the bottom of the camera is going to allow you to start rolling your film forward or backwards essentially so you can roll it up and then you're just going to turn like this and it should go smoothly if it's not going smoothly or if it's like jamming or making weird noises or it's like crackling your film it's probably because you didn't press that silver button so you want to make sure you do that because that'll allow your film to move backwards when you, you'll notice you'll know that you're done rolling your phone backwards when this is just kind of feels like it's free spinning right it means all your film is now inside of the roll and you can now open the back of your camera and here is our 36 uh, exposure superia extra 400 fuji color film close that back up You successfully unrolled your first roll of film. So now that you have your basically rolled up roll of film, in order to store it to keep it safe until you are going to send it off to be developed, you're going to keep the plastic container that the film comes in that I showed you earlier. You're going to pull that off, pop the film right in there, close the top, and that is your roll of film that is ready to be processed and sent out. All right, guys, so that's how you shoot on film. Hopefully that was helpful to some of you guys. Uh, maybe you guys have film cameras laying around and you haven't known what to do with them. So hopefully this video helped you. Uh, maybe you'll be shooting on film more in the future, and uh, that would be cool. I love shooting on film, so hopefully you guys are able to uh, get some cool shots out there. And... Uh, See you guys next time.